I guess this is why you are circling the right answer and then thinking about it way too much and talking yourself into choosing the wrong answer. So I see it with a lot of test takers. They are... They, they don't know why they keep choosing the right answer. They go back and look at the wrong answers. They realize they did circle the right one, but then they, for some reason, chose another one instead, and then they get it wrong. So this explains why. I recently sort of figured it out, I think. What happens is you, you see a question, and your gut instinct actually knows the answer. So it guides you to the right answer. So you, you circle it. But you don't know the material so well, and this is normal. This happens even to the best test takers. You don't always know the material so well that you can exactly justify why this is the right answer. Because you can't do that, you start to doubt the answer. And then you attach a ton of anxiety to the first answer you chose. Now, just to escape all the anxiety you put on the first answer, you just choose one of the other ones. And, and, you, have, and you have no good reason for having chosen the, the answer you did. But what you were actually doing is you were just trying to escape the anxiety you put on the first answer, which guess what? You got to because somewhere in all your unconscious processing, they say our unconscious mind is, is taking in two to four million bits per second of information, whether it is the sound of a car going by or the feeling of the weight of my body in, in the chair as gravity pushes down or just a million things. Two to four million bits of information per second our unconscious mind is taking in and our conscious awareness can only pay attention to, I believe it's 134 bits per second. So there's so much information that our unconscious minds are processing. So when you find yourself just gravitating to an answer, it's often because your unconscious mind is, knows this turn of phrase or it knows this answer is actually the right one. But, but then when you try to consciously justify it, you can't think of it. So you get nervous put a lot of anxiety on the first answer, and then just to run away from all the anxiety you put on the first answer, you go for another answer, but you don't have a good reason. Okay, how do you fix this? A, knowing this is going on will help you be a lot more aware and, and not fall into this type of mistake, and B, require yourself to have an extremely good, clear reason why you're gonna change your answer in order to ever change your answer. Basically, you're not allowed to change your answer unless you have a really good, clear reason. So I hope this is helpful for all you test takers who have found yourself in the habit in the past of choosing the right answer and then changing your mind. This is probably why.